Hello and welcome to your English news broadcast live on Air TV. Exactly, it's exactly 10:30 p.m. on Air Trade's local Greenwich from our headquarters at Asmara with your domestic and international news and brief. I'm Zahra Baduri. But first, we'll begin with the major headlines for this hour. An announcement from the Ministry of Health. Activity assessment meeting of nationals in Italy and social services provision institution in Porto Sala. Israel seeks to extend new golf ties to Middle East. Record hit linked uh, to deaths in Western Canada. Welcome to your domestic in brief. 73 patients have been diagnosed positive for COVID-19 and tests carried out today at quarantine centers in central, southern, and Gashbarka regions. Out of these, uh, 44 patients are from quarantine centers in Asmara Central Region, 10 patients are from quarantine centers in Mandefara 4, Sanafa 3, and Adghaya 3, Southern Region. 19 patients are from quarantine centers in uh, Girmaika 11, Haikota 4, Adibara 2, and uh, Aligadir 2 in the Gashbarka region. On the other hand, 77 patients who have been uh, receiving medical treatment in hospitals in the central region have recovered fully and have been uh, discharged from these facilities. The total number of recovered patients has accordingly risen to 5,512, while the number of deaths stands at 23. The total number of confirmed cases in the country to date has increased to 6,009. Ministry of Health, Asmara, 30th, uh, June 2021. Air train organizations in Italy conducted six-month activity assessment meeting on uh, 26 June, uh, adopting resolution to reinforce organizational capacity in line with prevailing the new era. At uh, the virtual meeting, in which uh, 75 members of the executive bodies participated, Mr. Fasazio Petros, ambassador of the Eritrea, uh, of Eritrea to Italy, delivered extensive briefing on the objective situation in the homeland and uh, the region, as well as on the responsibility of nationals in the prevailing new era. Participants conducted extensive discussion on the activity reports uh, presented by the executive and national committees and agreed uh, to organize regular meetings in coordinance with the ex external extenuation of the, uh, the issues to contain the spread of COVID-19 pandemic in Italy. In related news, at a memorial event organized in connection with the 20th June Martyrs Day, nationals residing in various countries and cities of Italy contributed a total number of 41,365 euros to augment the Martyrs Trust Fund. According to reports, nationals residing in Abruzzo contributed 420 euros, nationals in uh, Ferenz 1,370 euros, nationals Nationals in Pisa, 900 euros. Nationals in Rome, 13,000 euros. National in, nationals in Napoli, 310 euros. Nationals in Bari, 1,040 euros. Nationals in uh, Catania, 1,080 euros. Nationals in Perma, 1,500 euros. Continuing also, nationals in Bologna, 2,875 euros. Nationals in uh, Verona, 470 euros. Nationals in Milan, 17,700 uh, euros, and in uh, Bersiccia contributed 700 euros. And on your final domestic, the social services provision institutions put in place in Fortosawa subzone uh, reported. Uh, reported uh, that are significantly contributing and impro in improving uh, the living standards of residents. Speaking to Arena, the residents of the subzone stated that vegetable and fruit farming activity being conducted in their area on top of creating employment have created an experience sharing opportunity. Mr. Abu Bakr Mahmoud, administrator of Forto Sawa subzone, on his part stating that five health facilities, 28 educational institutions, electricity 
electricity supply and transportation services as well as potable water project have been put in place in the 13th administrative areas. Mr. Abu Bakr also said that the vegetables and fruit farming activities being exerted in the subzone have also contributed and introduced farmers with modern irrigation system. Up next with your international news, do stay with us for more. And on your global report, Israeli's foreign minister said on Wednesday, June the 30th, his visit to the United Arab Emirates was just the start of a road to peace with other Middle Eastern countries, signaling an offer of friendship with Arab states still wary of the normalizing ties. Yari Lapid, uh, the first Israeli cabinet minister to visit the Gulf states since the country's forged ties last year, also retreated Israelis' concern about the Iran nuclear deal being negotiated in Vienna. The trip comes aimed unease in Israel and Arab capitals about U.S. efforts to, to re-enter a 2015 nuclear pact between Iran and world powers, which then-President Donald Trump quit in 2018 in a move backed by Saudi Arabia and its Gulf allies. The UAE and Bahrain normalized ties with Israel under so-called Abraham Kurds and brokered uh, by Trump's administration, creating a new regional dynamic based on mutual concern over Iran and the Islamist groups Sudan and Morocco followed the suit as well. The agreements in uh, effect uh, challenged a decade-old alliance and allegiance to the Palestinian issue as a major drive of Arabic policy. Lapid declined uh, to comment on whether Israel was coordinating with the Gulf states over Iran, saying he did not want to embarrass his host by remarking on a neighbor while the UAE, but not his country, was worried about the nuclear deal. Nevertheless, he clarified that Israel needs to make sure that the agreement with with Iran is good, adding that, the, that Israel was discussing the matter with the United States alone. A horse cooled off under a underwater sprinklers in uh, Kalawana, British Columbia, aimed at record-breaking heat wave in Canada. The province of British Columbia suffered nearly double the average death as temperatures hit a record of high of 46.6 degrees Celsius, equaling to 115.88 degrees Fahrenheit. During the past four days of extreme heat, officials said on Tuesday, June 29th, at least uh, 200 and 33 people died in the West Coast province between Friday and Monday, and the number was expected to rise as more reports were filed. Officials also reported that British Columbia closed schools and universities on Monday as temperatures soared. Uh, the record heat has been caused by a high-pressure system that wasn't moving, uh, said Greg Fletto, a senior researcher scientist with environment and climate change in Canada based in Victoria, blazing temperature raised, concerned about effects of climate change as a policy, says heat likely contributed uh, to sudden deaths. Police in Western Canada say extreme heat may be linked to dozens of sudden deaths as the record temperature promoted uh, the province of British Columbia to close schools, issuing a flood warning from uh, glacier melts and urged people to stay indoors. In a statement on Tuesday, the Royal Canadian uh, Mounted Police in uh, Burn Bay a suburb of uh, Vancouver said it had responded uh, to more than 25 sudden deaths and calls in a 24-hour period since Monday. Dear viewers, that is all for now with your domestic and international news in brief. But before we end, these were your major headlines for this broadcast. An announcement from the Ministry of Health. Activity assessment meeting of nationals in Italy and social services provision institutions in Porto Sawa. 
In Lapid, Israel seeks to extend new Gulf ties to Middle East as your primary international. Record heat linked to death in Western Canada as your final report. That is all for now. Until we are back with some more news, have a nice one.